Norwegian born on October 5, 1963, demon guitarist Ronnie Lee Trico is best known for playing with the Norwegian hard rock band TNT and also as a solo guitarist working with these others, Terje Ripdahl and Mads Eriksson as N3. He was born in Oslo but moved to Rifos at a young age and has lived there all his life. He started playing the guitar at the age of 14 and he began by studying classical guitar. The first band that Ronnie formed, Vendetta, was in 1980. In 1982 and 85, he lived in Trondheim. TNT was formed in 1982 in the little town of northern Norway called Trondheim. And the original founding members included Dag Ingebrigtsen, Ronnie Latrico, Steiner Eichem, and Morten Diesel Dahl. At that time, there was no market for TNT's brand of music, so they played the club scene and started getting people's attention. Vertigo Records offered them a recording contract, and they released their first record, self-titled, TNT. The record featured the vocals sang in Norwegian and was only released in Norway. Vagabond released their first album, Vagabond, in 1994. Their sound was nothing like TNT. It was more progressive, and left many TNT fans unhappy with Ronnie's turn in musical direction. Later that year, he teamed up with Norwegian jazz guitarist Terje Ripdahl with Morty, Steiner Skagit, the drummer of Vagabond, Dog Stoke, keyboard player for TNT and Vagabond, and released an album called Ripto and Tikro. Vagabond released their second album, A Huge Fan of Life, in 1996. Some of Ronnie's inspirations as guitarists include Steve Hillage, Brian May, Jimmy Page, Brian Robertson, Jimi Hendrix, and Ted Nugent. His most outspoken fan is none other than Zach Wilde. He also keeps busy nowadays doing other things like he owns his own high-end recording studio located in the woods of Toten, Norway called Studio Studio Nyhagen for bands like Mayhem, 1349, Dark Throne, Enslaved, Chrome Division, as well as TNT, along with several other bands, have recorded albums there. The ESP Stratocaster. The bridge is probably a Floyd Rose, and the bridge pickup is Seymour Duncan Custom, as always. An American craftsman named Bernie Hamburger, who made Ronnie's quarter stepper, made this 12 string guitar. The body is semi hollow, and the high quality woods were used to build the guitar. Ronnie played Angel's Ride with this guitar during the Firefly tour. The famous checkerboard guitar. He paid only $150 in Norway for this 71 Fender Stratocaster with the Rockinger Tremolo, the Seymour Duncan custom pickup in the bridge position an Italian Mag Magnetics pickup in the neck position. From the 17th fret and above are scalloped. The neck is attached to the body with four screws instead of three point. Original tuning keys were replaced with shallower tuning keys. The Kramer Strat it used to have a Fender logo on the head because of the endorsement. An EMG in the neck position and probably a Seymour Duncan in the bridge position. The bridge is a Floyd Rose and a variety of Kramer Custom models used, as you see in the pictures. His foot pedals are said to be the secret to Ronnie's superb tone. Roland Space Echo RE150. It's a delight effect using a tape cartridge, and you can use it as a preamp by increasing the input. Even though Ronnie said in an interview right after Realized Fantasies came out that he did not use a RE50 as a preamp. Many Latrico researchers think that he is definitely using it as a preamp. This is a very old effect and you will never find a new one. If you do have a brand new one, it's worth a lot of money. The cartridges are expensive and it's very hard to find somebody who can repair these kind of dinosaur effects these days. Oh, and by the way, Ronnie's a witch and quite a masterful one. Hmm. Do you think witchcraft may be why he has amazing guitar skills? Nah, me either. I think he has his very own brand of magic when it comes to guitar playing. 